Well, there's something new at the Field Museum. It's a fossil that paleontologists say is the earliest known dinosaur that also qualifies as a bird. I think we're going back a very long way here. Long in way. History. <laughs> but here's the takeaway that got me. Experts call it the most significant fossil acquisition at the Field Museum since Sue the T-Rex. That was a big one. Yes. Kai Martin takes us there. Meet Archaeopteryx with feathers, hollow bones, clawed wings, 50 tiny teeth, and a long bony tail. In this hologram, you can imagine the life of the earliest known dinosaur that also qualifies as a bird. And the Field Museum is one of the few places on the planet to see it. The small specimen that you will see is a huge addition to the museum and to our city. Archaeopteryx, for that is what it is, proves the evolutionary link between birds and dinosaurs. The governor and plenty of VIPs came out to see Archaeopteryx. These specimens come from a fossil deposit in southern Germany. This one was unearthed in 1990. It's been in the hands of private collectors. Then a coalition of donors procured it for the field. Every time you visit the Field Museum, you can take in something different, a different exhibit or specimen, all woven into the fabric of core values of conservation and cultural exchange. The museum is now home to one of the largest fossils ever found, Sioux, and one of the smallest, the Archaeopteryx. This will be on display to the public through mid-June, and then it's actually going to spend the summer in storage while its permanent installation is being perfected for the fall. At Museum Campus, Kai Martin, NBC5 News. So it's not literally as big as Sue, but it's figuratively a pretty Absolutely, big deal. Absolutely, yes. it is a big deal. Yeah, good to see. Thanks to Kai.